फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मैडम देयर इज ए स्ट्रोंग फीलिंग एमंग दोज हु कम फ्रॉम द हिंदी स्पीकिंग एरियाज दैट वी आर गिविंग अ गो बाय टू हिंदी इन फैक्ट इट इज स्ट्रेंज हाउ इन रिगार्ड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर बिल और टू ए मेजर ऑफ दिस काइंड टू एक्सट्रीम व्यूज कुड बी हेल्ड एंड प्लेस बिफोर द कंट्री और प्लेस बिफोर दिस हाउस इट इज सेड दैट हिंदी इज बींग रेलीगेटेड टू द बैकवर्ड एंड इंग्लिश विल कॉन्टिन्यू थ्रू आउट दिस पीरियड एंड इट इज फर्दर सेड दैट इवन आफ्टर दिस टेन ईयर पीरियड द अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ ए कमेटी इज जस्ट एन आई वोश एंड इज ए वे टू लल द इमोशंस ऑफ द पीपल इन सो फार एज एडोपन ऑफ हिंदी इज कंसर्न आई डू नोट वॉन्ट टू से मच ऑन दैट सब्जेक्ट I can only say that the fears and doubts expressed by those who come from Hindi speaking areas are not at all justified. I must say that Hindi has considerably progressed during the last few years and if we see the progress which has been made since 1947 it would be found that it is something remarkable. before 1947 the position of hindi in so far as various matters and subjects were concerned was low in the list even as compared to other regional languages of the country but during the last 15 years the progress has been so rapid indeed enormous progress has been made and i might say that a large number of books standard books have appeared have been published on literature history geography economics science etc whatever field you might look into you will find that most valuable books have been written which could be taken advantage of i might even admit before the house that although i come from a hindi area i cannot really comprehend and understand many of the books written in hindi it is a different matter the point is i have not progressed along with the development of hindi i am behind the times i must admit it it is people like me who are behind and sometimes i feel that my generation perhaps may not be able to catch up with the development of hindi the next generation will do so but a man like me of course who knows something of hindi feels that i have not been able to catch up with the progress of hindi when i saw the two volumes of the criminal procedure code and the indian penal code wholly translated into hindi by the commission appointed by the law ministry of the government of india i was really surprised but they have done that job they have completed that job quite a difficult job so it is both i mean government as well as non official efforts which have contributed to this progress and development of hindi but it is a different matter that in spite of this progress hindi has yet to be learned by millions of our people it is one thing to develop literature and the language as such it is quite another to make it a common vehicle for its being used by the general population even today if we go into the matter fully we will find that hindi is not understood especially in the south by the people as a whole in the administration also i find that it is not possible by the officers coming from various states not only from the south but pro- from other areas also where hindi is not the regional language that it is not possible for them to work in the secretariat without the use of english language they have still 
to do their work in english and if hindi is made in any way obligatory they will be faced with a very difficult situation indeed besides that it has also to be realized that the advantages of english are obvious i am not one who is well versed in that language in fact i know my own limitations yet i would not like to deny the value and importance of the english language it is no doubt a historical accident that english has assumed an important place in our country but madam there were many things which should not be imbibed which we should not imbibe from englishmen but it would be unfortunate if we gave up learning of english only because it had come from the britishers english language by itself is one of the richest languages in the world it has assumed an exceedingly important place as an international language it is therefore that i make bold to say that if even 2% of our people know the english language it would be advisable to take advantage of that situation and continue to learn it as one of the foreign languages both for our national and international requirements having said this madam it must also be admitted that english could not be continued as our national language and cannot be accepted as our national language stop